another <laughs> beautiful day of sunshine and rainbows. Today we enter the Blood Mountain Wilderness at Chattahoochee National Forest. Stayed at Above the Clouds Hostel last night. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You guys will see that in the video. So, this helps you out with a little bit of the mileage. I'll probably try to make it to Gerard Gap. I really love to try to make it to Woods Hole. We'll see where we end up. And I am at Woody Gap right now. So, got a pretty good climb today. But we're back out here. <laughs> I met so many wonderful people at the hostel. I want to give a shout out to Disco and Bounce. They ran the hostel for Lucky while he was gone. And it was amazing. Very nice people complimentary shuttle back to the trail it was wonderful so now we're back out here and met a couple of other youtubers that I'm actually following <laughs> and they stayed last night at the hostel so we got a steady incline here I'm gonna Put the camera away just want to show you guys a little bit of what it's looking like this morning i think it's sunday yeah sunday it's i'm pretty sure yeah it's sunday so i will check back in with you guys i'm really hoping that clears up because there's supposed to be two really awesome views up here all right. That's where I'm coming from. That's where I'm going. And I'm so disappointed that I wasn't like literally starving and cold because when I showed up at Woody Gap, Paul was there with trail magic. But I didn't really need any trail magic. I had a really nice breakfast at the hostel this morning included. This is very wet and muddy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone away and head on down the trail. Fuck you right in there. Just ran into a group of Boy Scouts that stayed up at, I think, I think they stayed at Blood Mountain. Hello. You are welcome. Are you guys with the Boy Scouts? Yes, we are. All right. I love that you guys did that. <laughs> Just trying to keep up with them. <laughs> no, yeah, you're almost there, actually. <sighs> so, this is actually a really nice walk today. I, I, I'm looking at the elevation on the Far Out app, and it doesn't look like I have too much of a crazy climb to get up to Woods Hole Shelter. Um, I'm not making it a rough day. This is not a race. And I'm finding that by trying to focus on where I need to be next, where I, you know, how long is it going to take me to get there? I don't want to be stranded out in the wilderness by myself. I'm missing so much of the trail. So I'm 
deciding to go really slow so that I can actually take in some of the beauty. I hear another crowd of people coming. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Hmm. Hmm. A little climb here. Well, I say we have a little climb here. And then when I say that, it turns out to be like the steepest hill. I'm pretty sure I'm going up there. <laughs> I mean, what did I think I was doing coming out to the Appalachian Trail? Walking on the towpath? Oh, this looks fun. trail is sloshy and muddy and slippery. All right. Every single little step, no matter how small, gets me closer to where I have to be. Not so much where I have to be, where I want to be. But I also know that the trail, oh Lord, is gonna dictate where I actually should be. And I'm right where I belong at this moment. All right, get them back in my pocket. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's all <laughs> uphill rocks. One step at a time. One step at a time. I don't know how people do this without trekking poles. I have relied on them so much. For pushing me up hills and bracing me on the downhills. Cool. I don't know if you guys can see it. All these huge boulder formations. Still going up. Okay. Not sure.
sure. Not sure which way I'm supposed to go. This is pretty cool. Gigantic boulders. I don't see the white blaze that way. I'm gonna kind of assume that I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, I see a white blaze. You really have to kind of search. Where? Where's that one rock? That's that rock. right in between there. I think there's a white blaze right on that tree right there. All right. Up this mountain. <laughs> Here is making me think. I'm pretty fucking badass. <laughs> I don't really know too many people that would do this, you know, in my personal life. But I got a rock scramble here that's going to be pretty slippery. I'll try to figure out how to take my, pull myself up on my rock. Oh. the sun out. You can see all those mountain ranges that surround the mountain that I'm on. See through the trees. I don't know. I guess that's where we're going. So the video is not going to do it any justice. where I came from, way up there, standing on the edge of this cliff that goes straight down into that ravine. And look at these mountains in the background. All right. I'll see you later. So this is kind of cool. I came from way up there, and I don't know if you can see, right along there, this trail bends around there, and you can actually see the trail from here, but cute little, cute little water crossing. Oh, yeah, nice. Very pretty. Oh, <laughs> my pack's so heavy it almost <clears throat> flung me down there. <sighs> so, this is kind of like my actual first real stream crossing that... I'm actually going to get my feet wet. It goes all the way down. Yeah, that's pretty. 
Sun. I think my shoes are going to get that wet. The sun is out. <laughs> I'm like, I have trail bipolar disorder. One day I'm crying, well, one minute I'm crying and one minute I'm ecstatically happy. Gone under a big blow down here. Oh, this is pretty cool. I love that. I'll take a picture of that. <sighs> Oh, I came from all the way up there. I'm doing it. <laughs> um, I don't know what I just saw. Holy shit. <sighs> I'm not really sure what that is. What the fuck? Seriously? I put the phone away. So, I do hear a road. So I'm close to something, but I see something coming up up here. And I want to show you guys. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe you guys see this. <sighs> oh my god. Completely surrounded by mountain ranges. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. I hate dropping things because bending over with this pack on, sometimes I feel like I'm just going to topple right over. if it comes out to a clearing because this is just gorgeous <sighs> I hear dirt bikes so I think I'm on the other side of the mountain from where I was yesterday when I saw a bunch of dirt bikes Let's stop here and try to take it in. Came over that mountain. This <laughs> is so pretty. When I was little, I watched the Adventures of the Wilderness Family. I think it's like one of the first movies that I ever saw at the movie theater. And I wanted to live like that. The Wilderness Family. If any of you have seen it, it's like from the 1970s. But, yeah, I'm not gonna live like that. It's a little too primitive for me, but I'll take this right now. Stopped here for a little morning snack. There's nothing around. I'm the only one out here. All right, well, I just want to put my jacket away 
and have a snack and then get back on the trail. How'd you like to live right there? That's the mountain I just hiked down off of. Uh, you can't really see it in there. I'm not going backwards to show you. <laughs> Shed a couple pounds at the hostel. I sent home about five pounds worth of stuff. I don't need my camp shoes, my water shoes. Too heavy. Even though they only weigh ounces. But I want to get rid of them. Like I said, my pack fits great, but I'm feeling the weight on my heels. So. This road is supposed to come out. Oh, I just heard something. <coughs> Let me put this away in case I need both hands. All right, nice little water source. And look what I get to walk across with this massive thing on my back, which really throws off your balance. Let's see how this goes. It's probably gonna take me longer than anyone else. I'm not really going to think about how much I could die by hitting my head on a rock if I fall in, which I didn't. <laughs> All right. That was that. So then you come up a little stretch of trail like that, and you happen upon a big ravine between two mountains. And then... The trail appears to just abruptly end because obviously you can't get up there. But no, it turns this way. I still have plenty of water, so I'm not going to fail here. Let's go. So it's unusually warm in Georgia for this time of the year. And I'm seeing a lot of these little holes. Which is telling me <clears throat> snakes might be out early this year. I wasn't really too worried about the copperheads and rattlers, but I don't know. I keep seeing all these little holes, like it looks like where they dug themselves out of winter hibernation. So, who knows? But, well, and I'll tell you what, they, uh, they really camouflage themselves well. If I come across one, I'll, 
I'll show you guys. On top of the mountain. Oh God. All right. Some climbing. Some climbing. I think I might be. Eleven thirty. Maybe I'm gonna say. I'm gonna guess and say. It is going to take me four to five hours to get to where I plan to go today. So let's see. Let's see how <laughs> let's see how my plan works. <laughs> All right. All right. No words necessary, you can hear it. Whew. Straight uphill. Since I peeled off my jacket and my rain jacket, I think I have to readjust my pack because I thought it was tight enough, but it's giving me a little bit of a problem. So it's very slow going on these uphills. Oh! I just don't want this pack to drag me backwards and fall down. And I'm telling you right now, like in all the videos I watched, no camera angle, no video is going to do this any justice how steep some of these sections are. All right, onward. This is probably worth looking at. <laughs> this trail is so skinny. I'm literally on the edge of this mountain. Mountainous. My pants are already starting to fall down, so I'm gonna have to get some cordage. I'm gonna make a little belt. I keep tucking them up under my pack, but they're still falling down. I can't really imagine that I lost too much weight because at the hostel, they forced me to eat brownies. <laughs> I see some people up here. Oh, that's a welcome sight, another human being. All right, I'm gonna climb up and over this. See you later. I was listening to some Grateful Dead. Ooh, I didn't like the sound of that noise. I was listening to some Grateful Dead, which I know is not great trail etiquette, but because I'm so slow and everyone passes me <laughs> and I end up always hiking alone, because of how slow I am, I, uh, I put my music on. And I'm sorry if other hikers don't like that. I know it's not good trail etiquette, but 
it's really the only thing that kind of keeps me going when I can listen to my Grateful Dead and my Rolling Stones, my Carly Simon. Thank you. Sure. Old person. <laughs> and you're going up. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I learned that trail at a bit early. Thank you. Thank you so Have much, guys. Day. You too. So as I was saying, my music, I love music. Music is incorporated into every part of my life. So I just, um, I really like playing my music on trail and, you know, I'm not gonna wear earbuds because on that chicken <laughs> that uh, needs to be able to listen to everything around me because I'm positive that packs of wild dogs are after me apparently. <laughs> it was one dog <laughs> and it was with a girl but I thought for sure it was a pack of wild dogs coming at me. Oh god damn. So I know for a lot of people watching these videos is like very boring because I'm just like basically walking on a trail and narrating and self-disclosing way too much information about my personal life, but this is a personal journey, so Look, we're going out there. <coughs> yeah, that'll take me a half hour. <laughs> and my music uh, really helps me just forget about the pain and suffering that I'm going through. All these, uh, all these sense. I definitely feel like my legs are stronger just in the short time that I've been out here. And I've learned how to take little tiny baby steps up these steep hills. And I know this doesn't look steep to you guys. I can't say it enough. It's fucking steep. So... Oh. <laughs> I did that mountain. I did it. I did it. Just when you're pretty sure that you're dying. <laughs> You find out that you're not, and you come up a crazy hill like that, and you come out to this. Sorry, so many trees in the way. I'm glad they don't have their leaves yet. <laughs> There's the mountain that I just accomplished. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Almost above tree line. Almost. Here's the 
just a little bit of a better view. Wow. I was able to get a shower last night past though, but <laughs> I already stink again. But as they say, embrace the suck. This <sighs> I could never be a Sherpa. <laughs> Well, it's not true. I could be anything I want to be. Obviously. <sighs> okay. Oh, man. I love feeling like I'm on top of the world. Like in the Smokies and the Shenandoah area. Love that. And, well, look at that little patch in there. It's pretty. Alright. Oh. So apparently, on my steep ups, let me see if I can get this. I mean, this is ground level. Almost ground level. Pretty steep grade. Do it down. Apparently, on the uphills, I make pretty erotic noises. <laughs> I'm like, huh, oh, oh, yelling out into nothing. <laughs> oh. Ooh. And then every once in a while I go low. And then I go high. Ah! <laughs> and that's what I sound like. That's what I sound like. And then I lean and drink water. And pee in the woods. Ah! And keep climbing. Yeah, I probably should probably stop narrating because I think I'm beginning to lose my mind, which is okay. I don't know if this is part of an old plane crash because it kind of looks like a tent, but no one would tent on that kind of incline. So, must be a plane crash. I yelled out, no one's up there. I don't know if you guys can hear those church bells. I thought God was calling me home.
pulling up into the shelter. Big Woods Hole. I think it's Woods Hole Shelter. Upset because I lost the cap to my water bottle. Well, my second water bottle. So it's not catastrophic, but I know, yeah, I lost the cap last. I was just filtering some water and I think the cap might have rolled down the mountain. I looked everywhere. Couldn't find it. That's cool. Coming up into the shelter area. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. Good. Boys, where have you been? <laughs> you took a fall. I took a fall. I was pissed. I was gonna go home. No, you better. Not. I was gonna go home. <laughs> oh, we're so happy. Everybody was talking about you. Yeah, yeah. We, we we're talking. We were waiting. Saying, She's got to be showing up soon. <laughs> And we ran into the guy, uh, what's his name? The bald head gentleman, another hiker. And we John. mentioned it. John. Yeah, John. Uh, John, I think. Not this John. No, no, different John. Um, yeah, that's John. But the, 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 the other one with the bald head. He, said, yeah, okay. into, he mentioned um, that he, he said he took a fall. And we're like, what? So he the said, dog, yeah. did you see the girl with the dog yet? Yeah, yeah. The a tan dog, dog, the barking dog. So I thought I was being chased by a pack of wild dogs. Mm -hmm. because the way the dog sounded was not friendly or nice. Oh, shit. So oh. It's, a man came down out of the woods, and I'm sitting there at Horse Gap just eating lunch yeah, yeah. before I headed up Sassafras. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm hearing... No, I was sitting Let's up... Let's find you a spot to put up uh, a tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we're yeah, yeah. Is the shelter full? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a though. small one. Here, yeah, Is go it? to... Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no room in the shuttle. Or the, uh, the shuttle. Uh, <laughs> shuttle. I know, I'm there too. Yeah. I'm right with you. <laughs> um, where can you find this? What about right there? Right on the side of the shelter? Is that pretty flat? That's what I mean. Yeah, it's only flat when I see Where are you guys set up? We put ourselves in here. We oh, you're in the shelter? Here. Yeah. yeah. We were first I knew that I wasn't going to get a spot, but if you guys don't mind, I think I am going to pull up next to the shelter. And yesterday we were actually looking for you because we're like, man, you know, if she comes in, we need to try to get her in here. I yeah, I, I ended up. So the dog scared me, and then I got my my mace out, my bear spray, and I'm sitting there because I thought it was a pack of wild dogs. It's kind of, it's kind of rocky. That's all right because I got my I got my ground cover and I got my two okay. sleeping pads. All right, all right. Let's get you set and up. I feel really comfortable being next to the shelter. So, no I lost my, so I turned around and I slipped because everything was so soaking oh, wet yeah, that yeah. day. And I and yeah, another I reason I'm disappointed that I at the last minute switched these out. But I slipped and I fell right on my ass and it hurt. So then yeah. I was sitting at the bottom of a horse gap just crying. Like, should I go home? Should I like what should I do? Like I was having one of those moments. And I said, let me see if I can get in touch with Brett. And if Brett can grab me and take me to the hostel, and that's just what I needed. I just needed, just needed like, a night. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. like, normal food, a shower, and a bed. And then I found someone that hikes my same speed. And cool. He's Oops. extremely slow, but so am I. I'm actually feeling, are you feeling? Better? Yeah. Steel Hall in Detroit, they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed to a blank 29 times huh. for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. Oh, 
on, come on down on the big lake they call Tichigoobie. Superior, they said, never can forget the scales of November come early. I made it to Woods Hole Shelter. I had um, some wonderful beef stroganoff for dinner. And I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Um, this is what I got going on. I'm in my sleeping bag and go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning oh you can see how cold it is I don't know if you can see the rising. <laughs> All right. Good night.